Are you feeling ready for your grade 11 analytical geometry exam? Check out this practice question to get a feeling for the types of questions you'll be asked. Welcome or welcome back to Tutoring Success, my level 7 pioneers. So in this question or this exam question, we are given a diagram and a statement, right? And our statement reads as follows. It says in the diagram below, and then they are showing us the coordinates that we are given and they are telling us a vertexes of triangle ACT. So we can clearly see our triangle ACT, right? And then as the, as the statement continues, it says CA intersects the Y inter, the Y axis actually in F and CA produced cuts the X axis in G. The straight line uh, DE is drawn parallel to CA, right? So we are having parallel lines. So this is very important on our statement, right? We know that DE is parallel to what? To AC. So we can just conclude. <laughs> we can just conclude, guys, from the get-go that our gradient at DE is equal to our gradient at CA, right? So, and then they say angle CFO is equal to theta, right? So, that's all we are given and we can all see the coordinates on our diagram, right? So, let's take our first question, my level 7 pioneers. They are saying calculate the gradient of the line AC, right? So, let's calculate our gradient AC our gradient AC. So we know that our gradient is simply changing Y over changing X, right? So we are going to say our Y coordinate at A minus our Y coordinate at C divided by our X coordinate at A minus by our X coordinate at C. Uh, there's something that I'm not, uh, okay, right? So what is our Y coordinate at A? Our Y coordinate at A, it's three. So 3 minus by our y coordinate at c, which is 11, right? Divided by our x coordinate at a is negative 2. Minus by our x coordinate at c is 10, right? So we're just going to do our math here. So I, 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 I strongly and highly <laughs> encourage my level 7 pioneers to use a calculator when it comes to such situations, right? You just punch your calculator, you get your answer. That's what I'm about to do. <laughs> so our answer here, my level seven pioneers, is two over three, right? So we can trust this gradient. Why? Because our line is pointing to the right, isn't it? So that means our gradient must be positive. So this is our 3.1. Let's go to our 3.2. Determine the equation of line DE um, in the form of y is equal to mx, right? So our y is equal to mx plus c. It's like this, right? So we already have our gradient, but we must tell the examiner that we know this. You can say the gradient of AC is equal to the gradient of DE, right? Why? Because these two lines are what are parallel. So you can give your statement here. You can say DE is parallel to uh, CA, right? So our AC gradient is 2 over 3. And then that means our gradient or our DE gradient is also 2 over 3. I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's also 2 over 3. So they are saying we should find the the equation actually the equation of this line isn't it so since we are asked to find the the equation of this line we are simply going to substitute our coordinates at t right so we we, we also can't calculate the the gradient of the e because we are we are, we are only given one coordinate so you must be familiar or you must know what to do when it comes to analytical geometry. I will link our playlist uh, on our screen right now. So uh, we go back to our 
to our format, which is m is y equals to mx plus c. We have our m, which is 2 over 3, right? If you're having any question, guys, please post it on our, on our comment section below. And on this step, guys, we are only solving for our c. Our c is our constant. A constant is just a number, guys. So we are looking for C. So we are going to substitute our coordinates at D, right? So our Y is negative 1, 2 over 3, which is our gradient. And our X coordinate at D is 5 plus C. So we are simply going to, to do our math here. So when we are going to transpose, we are going to be having negative 1, negative um, 10 over so after here guys you are simply going to punch your calculators native 13 over 3 guys so we know what is our c so we can conclude that our 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 equation is 2 over 3 x negative 3 over <laughs> i mean negative 13 over 3 guys so this is our this is our equation right so we should be getting all the marks here guys so okay we go to our next question which is 3.3 they are saying calculate calculate the the size or calculate the size of angle theta right so how do we go about calculating the size of angle theta we can see our angle theta is here guys but what else can we can we observe we can we just can't um angle theta is not our angle of inclination because it's not from our x axis right so we are simply going to find this um this angle we can name it as theta this is alpha right so we know that here we are having a 90 degree so we are going to consider triangle um g f o right let's consider triangle gfo how can we find angle theta we already uh, if i'm not mistaken we already have the the cry the gradient <clears throat> the gradient of ac right so since we have the gradient of ac that means we also have our um, our gradient of gc so we are going to do our angle of inclination because theta is our angle of inclination right so is equals to the gradient of let's say uh, cg the gradient of cg so tan theta is equals to 2 over 3 right uh, hopefully you can see guys but let me try to write more clearly is 2 over 3 so how do we go about finding theta we are going to say actan uh, 2 over 3 then from here guys we punch the calculator guys we punch the calculator so you're going to say shift turn uh, 2 over 3 and our answer is um, 33,69 33 what I'm writing now so is 33,69 if this video guys is, is valuable to you please don't forget to put that like button so is 36 uh, i mean is 33,69 right so let's go let's go let's go let's go on so we 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 are having guys can you please take a note of of of, of this we are having a triangle right and we know that our angle here is 90 degrees isn't it so what do we know about and uh, about the exterior angle of a triangle we know from uh, from Euclidean geometry that, that this angle is equal to the angle of G plus the angle of O. Your reasoning you are going to say the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles, right? So here they didn't say we must solve using reasons, right? So you are going to say alpha is equal to theta plus angle o so we know that our theta is 33 comma 69 right plus 90 so you are simply going to punch this on your calculator so your answer is going to be 123 123 comma 
six nine. Right, and then we we go to our next question. Our next question, which is our last question, it says B is a point in the first quadrant such that A B D E in uh, in that order forms a rectangle. So we have to know the properties of a rectangle, guys. So they are saying calculate giving reasons, right? We must give reasons. Calculate giving reasons the, the coordinates of M, the midpoint of PE. So let's try to put this thing, guys, into, into a drawing, right? Let's say uh, they are saying it's a rectangle, right? And we know the properties of a rectangle. This opposite, uh, I mean this opposite, uh, line must be equals to de right and what else can we uh, can we what else can we say by, uh, about a rectangle we are having diagonals which are um, which bisect each other meaning that they cut themselves selves into equal uh, parts right let me finish drawing this thing so what i'm trying to say to you guys is that this is equals to this and is also equals to this and is also equals to this so they are telling us that m is here right so they are saying on our first question they are saying um uh, calculate giving reasons the coordinates of m the midpoint of pe right so our p guys i forgot to 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 include it our p is here because they said to us uh, B is a point on the first quadrant, and our first quadrant is this one. So, how do we go about solving this question? We are going to 3.4.1. So, we are going to say, um, we are going to actually calculate the midpoint of AC, right? So, our reasoning, you are going to tell the examiner that um, the diagonals of... Um, of a rectangle bisects each other, meaning that they are equal. So we don't have to use the coordinates of P and E to find the midpoint because the midpoint of P and E is also or is the very same midpoint of A and T. Hopefully I'm making sense, guys. If you are having any question, post it on our, co on our comment section below. I'll get back to you, guys. So my level 7 pioneers must know this, guys, that... Uh, the diagonals of a rectangle bisects each other. So let's look for our midpoint of of AD, right? So we are going to say our x coordinate at A plus our x coordinate at D divided by 2. And then we are going to say our y coordinate at A plus our y coordinate at D divided by 2 so we should be getting our m here guys so what is our x coordinate at a is negative 2 plus our x coordinate at d it's 5 divided by 2 and then our our y coordinate at a is 3 plus our y coordinate at d which is negative 1 divided by 2 so we are simply going to punch our calculator here guys so here we are going to be getting three over two and here we are going to be getting two over two which is one so hopefully i'm making sense guys you can say for your reasoning you can say um diagonals diagonals of, of a rectangle of a rectangle bisect Uh, each other they might not use the very same reason but you should be getting all of your marks my level 7 pioneers so let's go to our next question our next question is 3 comma 4 comma 2 you can say point <laughs> okay they are saying um, calculate the length of the diagonal PE right so what i've just said guys you are simply going to use the very same reason right so the diagonal or the diagonal or the length of pe is the very same length as ad because the diagonals of a rectangle are equal and they also bisect each other 
So you are going to say a a a a a a d I mean what I'm doing a d is equals to uh, p e. You can say your reasoning diagonals um, of a rectangle are equal. Ne? Uh, <laughs> diagonals of a rectangle <laughs> uh, are equal. Okay, almost yeah. The diagonals of a rectangle are equal. So we are going to say what is our distance for AD. So we are going to introduce our distance formula, which is the x at A uh, minus by our x at D squared. Uh, I'm running out of space here, guys. I'm running out of space. And then we are going to say plus our y coordinate at A minus by our y coordinate at D squared. So when it comes to to such questions, guys, please punch your calculator because I don't want us to make any mistakes. Any mistakes, okay? Okay, let's go to, let's substitute our coordinate, right, guys? So if you are hearing some external sounds, please bear with me, guys. Um, uh, I also hear them. So, so I told my students, I, and I always tell my students and my level 7 pioneers, that we can't be excelling in mathematics and and um, and complaining at the same time. So, what is our x-coordinated a is negative two. What is our x-coordinated d is five squared plus. What is our y-coordinated a? It's three. And then what is our y-coordinate? Uh, okay, what is our y-coordinate at? Mm, I don't like this car, guys. What is our y coordinate? A is 3. What is our y coordinate? D is negative 1 squared. So you are simply going to punch your calculator here, guys. So after punching your calculator, you are going to get your answer, my level 7 pioneer. And then that's how we collect all the marks in, in analytical geometry, right? So this is everything we have learned so far on our analytical um on our analytical geometry uh, playlist if there's anything you you didn't understand please watch our um, our playlist right so hopefully i didn't made any mistakes so if you found other answers I'm not saying they are wrong, but please correct me on our comment section below. So from now, guys, uh, on this playlist, we are going to to only practice analytical geometry. So on to our next video, my level seven pioneers.